The human body can withstand a lot of voltage, but what exactly is the threshold? What's the difference between volts and watts? And what exactly does the science say? Stay tuned. It's not just about the voltage, it's the current that can kill you. Household outlets in the US are 110 or 220 volts. That means if the current flows through your chest, it can stop your heart. In fact, around 50 volts and above is enough to cause pain. And if your skin is wet, it's even worse. You see, dry skin has high resistance, but wet skin acts like a live wire. It lowers the resistance and increases the flow of current. The resistance of your skin can be as high as 100,000 ohms when it's dry, but it drops to 1,000 ohms when wet. That's a 100 times difference. Now, household outlets in the U.S. are 110 or 220 volts. If you accidentally touch one with dry skin, you might just feel a slight tingling sensation. But if your skin is wet, well, that's a whole different story. The water provides a path of least resistance for the electrical. Current to flow through your body and you can get a serious shock. And here's the kicker. It's not the voltage that's the main danger here. It's the current, the amount of electrical flow that can be deadly. As little as 100 milliamps or 0.001 amps can cause heart fibrillation in a person. That's less than what a typical phone charger provides. At higher levels, say 1,000 volts or more, the danger is arc flash. The air around you becomes ionized and an electric arc can jump through the air and deliver a massive shock even without touching a wire. So how much voltage can a human withstand? Technically, very little if the current is strong enough. And that's why it's important to treat every wire as if it's dangerous. Never underestimate electricity. It doesn't give second chances.